For some people, the obesity epidemic is easy to explain. We're sitting around too much and eating far too many calories. Others argue there's more to it because not everyone gets fat and some of us find it easier to lose weight than others. Dr. Susan Sumner is a US researcher who's investigating the individual differences in obesity and weight loss. We've started working on understanding more about how chemicals in the environment may affect obesity. Maybe chemicals in the environment may program some individuals to be obese later in life, or maybe some chemicals in the environment may prevent someone from being able to lose weight. And so that's an area that we're very interested in. Dr. Sumner calls chemicals that may make you more susceptible to obesity, obesogens. And the obesogens she feels are the most likely suspects are substances that leach out of plastic, called phthalates. These may interrupt how hormones work in our bodies, or even in the fetus. She's exposed pregnant rats to phthalates and found they do affect the offspring's metabolism. Now we don't really understand the full consequences of that yet, and uh, that's something that really there needs to be a lot more research put in. And the National Institutes of Environmental Health is really putting a lot of effort into now understanding the role of environmentally relevant chemicals in obesity and diabetes and insulin resistance. It would predict whether or not someone who is obese would have a positive response to treatment. And the reason this is important is that a lot of people go into weight loss programs and don't lose weight or go into weight loss programs and gain weight back later. And if you could know early on who's a better candidate for being in which kind of program, then you would know which program to put the child in. And particularly for obese children, this is really important because there's a lot of psychosocial issues associated with obesity in children. And the last thing we want to do is get them in the wrong programs. So that's one thing that we can do with that data. And then the other thing that we can do with the data is to be able to understand the biochemistry behind why someone can lose weight or someone can't. And by understanding that biochemistry, we can determine new drug targets to develop new medications. One of the things that we did recently was analyze urine samples collected from the adolescents who were attending a healthy weight program. So they came into a camp, they stayed for three weeks, they got lifestyle interventions and in nutrition and exercise, and a lot of those uh, adolescents lost weight during the healthy lifestyle camp, but some of them didn't. So we took the urine samples and we've been analyzing the urine samples to try to understand what are the signatures associated with the children that lose weight and those that don't lose weight. Susan Sumner believes that by understanding our metabolic differences, anti-obesity treatments can be tailored to individuals. What we were able to find is that we could use metabolomics to examine the urine samples and find signatures of endogenous compounds in the urine that indicated a positive response to the treatment. Now, they don't know what all this means yet, but one day it could result in simple tests that will show ways of helping obese adults and children lose weight.